okay good morning everyone in the previous lecture uh we have ended fourier transform and uh now we will start with the laplace transform so laplace transform let f of t be a function for all t greater than 0 the laplace transform of f of t is given by integral 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus st dt <coughs> and is denoted is denoted by capital f of x as you can see integration is with respect to t there are two variables in this integral one is t and other is s since the integration is with respect to t the limits of the integration are in for t so when you solve this integral you will get a function of s so that function of s is called the laplace transform and it is denoted by capital f of s you have to understand this notation very much uh, i mean <clears throat> carefully so capital f of s which is laplace transform of small f of t and it is given by integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt remember this carefully one and only definition which will be used everywhere indirectly not directly so properties the first and very important property laplace transform of f of t plus minus t of t so what happens when you are taking laplace transform of an addition or subtraction of two different functions so if i take the laplace transform of f of t plus g of t i will use the definition and i will see what happens so laplace of f of t plus minus g of t is equal to we know that the laplace transform of a function is given by integral 0 to infinity so this will be equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st <coughs> और जिसका लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म लेना है तो दैट विल बी एफ ऑफ टी प्लस माइनस जी ऑफ टी यू विल हैव डी टी ओवर दैट सो नाउ लेट्स ओपन द ब्रैकेट वी नो दैट द इंटीग्रेशन विल सेपरेट ओवर एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन सो इट विल बी टू द पावर माइनस एस टी एफ ऑफ टी डी टी In plus minus integral zero to infinity e to the power minus s t g of t d t. So if you look at the first integral, what it is? The first integration is nothing but the Laplace transform of the function f of t, and the second integration is nothing but the Laplace transform of the function g of t. 
which i can also write as capital f of x plus minus capital g of x so the first property says that addition of two function laplace transform of addition of two function is nothing but the sum of laplace transforms of the two function so laplace transform separates over addition the second property laplace transform of k into function f of t now again you can use the same property <coughs> i mean same definition of integration and what we will observe is k can come outside the laplace transform k into l of f of t that will be k into capital f of s okay so two very basic things one the laplace transform separates over addition and subtraction second constant number k can come outside when it is multiplied it can come outside the laplace operator next third one laplace transform of 1 how do you, how do we do this laplace of 1 integration 0 to infinity 1 into e to the power minus st f of t f of t is nothing but 1 sorry so this won't be there 1 into e to the power minus st now integration of e to the power minus st is e to the power minus s into t upon minus s limits from 0 to infinity if s is greater than 0 the e to the power minus st at infinity will become 0 minus when you put the lower limit e to the power 0 will become 1 upon minus s so the answer is 1 by s remember this the first uh, and uh, this is a laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 by s so whenever required we can use this definition directly into examples you don't have to solve the integration so remember this next laplace transform of the function e to the power 80 so i will solve it here on the right hand side laplace transform of e to the power 80 so that will be integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus s into t f of t is e to the power a into t dt this will be integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus of s minus a times t dt now we'll integrate this the integration of e to the power 80 is e to the power 80 upon A limits from zero to infinity. When you put infinity, it will become zero. Minus when you put zero, this is numerator will become one, and denominator is one upon minus of s minus s a. by t. So if you solve this, that will be one upon s minus a. So Laplace of e to the power a t is one upon s minus a. Uh, look, we are making the list because you don't have to solve the integration every time. Whenever required, you directly use this formula, so you remember it. Third one, Laplace of sine of a t.
can anyone answer this a by s square plus a square yes a by s square plus a square very good so this is the same formula that i gave you while solving the fourier tra transform example so what we will have here is the integration will be 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t sin of a t dt so by our formulas what we have is a upon s square plus a square so laplace transform of sin of a t is a upon s square plus a square laplace of cos of a t will be s upon s square plus a square again by the same formulas <clears throat> next laplace of t raised to n oh, sorry not t raised to n let's do the hyperbolic first laplace of sin h of a t is a upon a square minus a square laplace of cos h of a t is equal to s upon a square minus a square i'm not going into the details of this proof but uh, in your bridge course you may have seen that sin h of a t will actually be equal to e to the power a t minus e to the power minus a t divided by 2 in that manner you have to proceed using this definition and then we have the second property which is laplace of e to the power a t and combining that you will get this result so i'm just giving you the hint so that you can use it later and you can get to the final solution if you even if you don't prove it remember it so that whenever required you can use it next property is laplace of t raised to n as your diploma student you may not know this but i have given you rough idea about the gamma function when i talked about the fourier transform so the laplace transform of t raised to n <clears throat> so what this will be integral 0 to infinity t raised to n e to the power minus st f of mm, dt now uh, what is gamma function gamma function i'll just give you a brief introduction about it maybe you will see it in your bridge course e to the power minus x x raised to n dx यहाँ पे भी ऐसा इंटीग्रेशन दिखेगा इसका आंसर है गैमा ऑफ एन ओके तो द डेफिनेशन इज डिफाइंड लाइक दिस द इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ई टू द पावर माइनस एक्स एक्स रेस टू एन डी एक्स वेर एवर दिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑकर्स इस इंटीग्रेशन का आंसर है गैमा ऑफ एन दैट्स ऑल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लेट्स नॉट गो इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ इट okay this is how gamma function is defined it is not under root it is gamma dekho uska jo notation hai it is like this a horizontal and a vertical line that's it gamma of n so the laplace transform of t raised to n is gamma of n plus 1 upon 
s raised to n plus 1 you just remember this gamma of n plus 1 even if you don't simplify it is okay okay and for simplification i have given you two tools while talking about the fourier uh, transform the two very important rules are if you want to find gamma of any function so gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n okay this is one property and the other property you will need is gamma of half is equal to under root pi देखो अब सपोज मुझे गैमा ऑफ फाइव फाइंड करना है फाइव क्या है फोर प्लस वन सो दैट विल बी फोर गैमा ऑफ फोर नाउ गैमा ऑफ फोर इज नथिंग बट गैमा ऑफ थ्री प्लस वन अगेन थ्री प्लस वन आई कैन राइट इट डाउन एज थ्री गैमा थ्री नाउ गैमा ऑफ थ्री आई कैन राइट इट डाउन एज गैमा ऑफ टू प्लस वन विच इज फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू Two gamma two, which I can write as four into three into two into gamma of one plus one, and gamma of one is one, so this becomes four factorial. Is everyone clear? How do how did I found found out gamma of five as four factorial? Now, just for an idea, what I will do is I will find out gamma of three by two. I'll drop the top corner. I will find out gamma of three by two. So if I want to find out gamma of three by two, this will be equal to gamma of one plus one by two. What is the formula? Gamma of n plus one is n gamma n. So one by two plus one will be one by two gamma of one by two. But what is gamma of one by two? One by two is root pi. So the answer of gamma of three by two is under root pi divided by two. I need an answer. Is everyone clear about the gamma function now? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, fine. So gamma of e raised to n is gamma of n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. This much list is very important. I will rub the remaining part. Take a screenshot if you want. If you are writing it down, write down these formulas because uh, our complete chapter depend on this. If you don't know this, you won't understand anything else. being diploma students it may be possible that uh, uh it is very hard for you to pass m3 but if you want to pass m3 you must do the laplace transform because in this chapter you won't need a lot of integration so integration derivative is not needed everything depends on the formulas how you use the formula and how you get the answer so please take a screenshot of the formulas if you are writing it down write it down so that you don't have any problem solving example in fine so i can go ahead now sir uh, the m3 exam will be online right mcq based uh -huh, it is not declared yet okay let's see what happens uh, it will completely depend on government guidelines if the same continue uh, condition continues then it may be online
even for on online you will have to work with the formulas so please make sure that you have all the list of formulas with you next property laplace of small f of t is equal to capital f of s then laplace of e to the power at into f of t is equal to what so what i'm trying to understand if e to the power at is multiplied to f of t and f of t ka laplace transform i can find which in this case i am assuming that suppose it is capital f of s so i want to find laplace of e to the power at into f of t so laplace of e to the power at into f of t will be given by integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st e to the power at f of t dt so integral 0 to infinity minus sin common what we will have s minus a times t f of t dt so what i'm going to do is now i'll call this a p s minus a is equal to p then what is happening 0 to infinity e to the power minus pt f of t dt what is this anyone anyone what will be that integral can you identify that yes yes can you identify that integral what it is Sir. No. E raise to uh, min uh, e raise to e s minus p by s minus p. No, yet uh, it is not the integral, na? No, e to the power minus p t into f of t hai. so in what you are telling me is integration of e to the power minus pt dt iska integration e to the power minus pt by minus p aata hai but it is not that e to the power minus pt into f of t hai One by p. Mm. Okay. Integral zero to infinity e to the power minus s t f of t d t. What is this equal to? Laplace of F y t into s s t. No. S t. Laplace of f t f of t. So in that integration is Laplace of f of t. 
right but what it is denoted by s of s capital f of s so 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t is capital f of s so what this will be अगर ये इंटीग्रेशन कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस है तो ये इंटीग्रेशन दिस विल बी कैपिटल एफ ऑफ पी बट कैपिटल एफ ऑफ पी इज कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस माइनस ए सो व्हाट वी हैव डिराइव लैपलास ऑफ ई टू द पावर ए टी एफ ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस माइनस ए सो व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय दिस कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस है कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस माइनस ए है क्या रिलेशन हुआ दोनों के बीच में व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन टू ऑफ देम okay a uh, relation we will observe later so i will just take this some uh, two to three, three examples for uh, understanding this property the first one find the laplace transform of e to the power at into say p raised to n second laplace of e to the power minus at into cos of 2t third laplace of e to the power at into e to the power 2t into sin h of 3t so we need to find this for an example the first one if i want to find laplace of e to the power at into t raised to n how can we use the first one anyone देखो दो मार्क के लिए ऐसे ही एग्जांपल होंगे ट्राई टू यूज इट ई टू द पावर एटी इंटू टी रेस टू एन दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट वी नो वी नो दैट लैपलास ऑफ टी रेस टू एन इज इक्वल टू गैमा ऑफ एन गामा एन एन प्लस वन अपॉन एस रेस टू एन प्लस वन सो लैपलास ऑफ t raised to n is this so laplace of e to the power at into t raised to n will be equal to what yes anyone can you tell me laplace of t raised to n pata hai to e raised to at into t raised to n kya hoga 1 by s minus a into gamma of n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 mm-hmm. so what it is saying is द फॉर्मूला सेज दैट तुम्हारा जो बचा हुआ पार्ट है ई टू द पावर एटी को छोड़ दो जो बचा हुआ पार्ट है उसका जो लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म आएगा उसमें एस के जगह पे एस माइनस ए करना है प्रॉपर्टी सेज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ ई टू द पावर एटी इन टू अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ टी वॉट यू सिंपली डू यू फाइंड द लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ एटी एफ ऑफ टी एंड इन दैट you replace s by s minus a this is what the property means so what i'm going to do e to the power 80 i've kept aside i found out laplace of t raised to n the answer for it is gamma of n plus 1 upon <coughs> what a uh, s raised to n plus 1 and in this what i have to do i have to replace s by s minus a so that will be equal to gamma of n plus 1 upon s minus a raised to n plus 1 read it carefully if you have any problem you can ask
and it's clear to everyone so if it is clear this is very good news so now what you can do is you can do the second one do the second one on your own i will ask particularly don't uh, unmute and directly shout the answer i will ask particularly to some students so what we want to find out is e to the power minus 80 cos of 2t देवेंद्र बोर्डे यस सर हाँ व्हाट कैन व्हाट इज द आंसर शाश्वत लेफ्ट देवेंद्र यू डोंट नो अथर्व बोबड़े कैन यू आंसर दिस इट्स माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर सो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इट अरे वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर टुडे इटसेल्फ यू शुड गेट इट ओके इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द प्रीवियस लेक्चर प्रणीत Pranit, can you answer this? Hello. Yes. No, sir. I am unable to answer. Okay. Shantanu. No, same, sir. I cannot get it. You cannot get it. Anyway, Shaunak. Sir, two s minus four. S square. Yes. Uh, S minus four. Four. This is e to the power eighty. It is not forty. S minus. S minus a. A. Upon. Upon. S square. S square. S square. Uh, minus. फोर एस प्लस टू ए स्क्वेर प्लस टू ए स्क्वेर ए स्क्वेर ओके एनीथिंग एल्स यस यू हैव व्हाट यू हैव गॉट ओके एनीवे सर हाँ I got the below part. Uh, it's the same, but uh, what is in the numerator? I didn't get it. Okay. Mm. Sir, do we have to replace a by two? Why to replace a by two? You uh, go go by your formula. Look, what I'm saying is I'm repeating the same thing once again. Now, e to the power eighty वाला part है उसको अलग रख दो. e to the power जो कुछ भी है, okay? You take the Laplace of remaining part, which is cos of 2t. What this property says, जो remaining part का Laplace आ गया, उसके बाद अगर e to the power 80 है, तो उसमें s को replace करो s minus a से. e to the power 80 into f of t में s को replace कर रहे हो s minus a से. You have to look at this part, this formula. e to the power 80, you are replacing s by s minus a. e to the power minus 80 hai then s will be replaced by s plus a are you convinced with this step look at this formula the first line on your screen 
लैपलास ऑफ ई टू द पार ए टी एफ ऑफ टी है तो एफ ऑफ टी के लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म में एस इज रिप्लेस बाई एस माइनस ए दैट इज वॉट द प्रॉपर्टी सेज नाउ इन दिस एग्जाम्पल लैपलास ऑफ ई टू द पार माइनस ए टी कॉस टू टी फाइंड करना है तो कॉस टू टी के लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म में आई एम रिप्लेसिंग एस बाय एस प्लस ए आई होप दिस स्टेप इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ लैपलास ऑफ कॉस ऑफ टू टी is nothing but s upon s square plus a square but a here is 2 square now s is to be replaced by s plus a so this is equal to s plus a upon s plus a square plus 2 square so if we simplify this it is s plus a upon a square plus 2 as plus a square plus 4 this is our final answer <coughs> if you have any problem you can ask nothing if you are clear solve the third one i will give you 2 minutes and then we will talk नो एक काम करो ई टू द पावर टू टी को अलग रखो वट इज लैपलास ऑफ साइन एच ऑफ थ्री टी थ्री बाय स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन थ्री बाय स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन देन ई टू द पावर टू टी अगर है मल्टीप्लाइड तो एस को किससे रिप्लेस करना है एस माइनस टू दैट्स इट फाइनल सोल्यूशन सो साइन एच ऑफ थ्री टी जो भी आंसर आएगा उसमें एस को रिप्लेस करना है एस माइनस टू से वी नो दैट लैपलास ऑफ साइन एच ऑफ थ्री टी इज थ्री अपॉन स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर देन आई विल रिप्लेस एस बाय एस माइनस टू सो द आंसर टू दिस इज थ्री अपॉन एस माइनस टू स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन सो दिस इज थ्री अपॉन एस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एस प्लस फोर माइनस नाइन माइनस फाइव क्लियर टू एवरी वन इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी वन Yes. Okay. Next property. Okay, anyway, next property will start it in the next lecture. Uh, I have downloaded the attendance. Now uh, the next property will start in the next lecture. 
if you have any difficulties in this you can ask or else we'll stop clear to everyone yes sir mm, fine yes, thank sir, you sir yes uh, sir uh, regarding our assignment number 1 hmm uh, as you have added us in your google classroom uh, yes have uh, was that assignment number 1 has no questions at all i mean questions are not there ha huh, questions were not uploaded na okay so that so... was that was live session questions were written on the screen and uh, you, you all solved it but sir uh, as a newcomer i don't know the questions uh, for the assignment okay so i'll send it to them okay who is it raj bora i guess is it raj or someone else i am also new sir okay how many of you have joined i mean newly how uh, many batches do you, your class has total c uh, four batches there and around 18 to 19 are new students okay around. how many batches are there four batches sir four batches four. yes uh who is the cr cr of your classes Not is the decided. CR declared? No. Sir. Yes. Okay. CR is not uh, decided. Uh, fine. So uh, whoever have the question, you share it with others. And uh, what is the total count? If anyone knows. What is the total count? Forty-four. Before the new one add were added. uh it was around 44 but okay. after the new ones added i think it might be 58 or 60 okay fine almost 60 okay theek hai uh please share those uh, questions okay with okay. others also thank you fine yeah thank you